how to create a Shopify product page in PageFly. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can create your Shopify product page in PageFly. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of you might ask, why should I create my product page in PageFly instead of using the native Shopify product page? Well, there are quite a few different reasons why you might want to do that. First off is simply because Shopify stores can all look very similar. The product page layout is not very customizable. It is customizable to some extent, but to really elevate the appearance and really make it a very customized experience for your customers, you want to be able to create your product page in a different format. So if you want to elevate your page a little, using PageFly can really help with that. Now, to get started with PageFly, all you have to do is head on over to your Shopify store, click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings, click on apps and sales channels. From here, you're going to click on Shopify app store. And over here, you just want to search for PageFly. Now, once you search for PageFly, this is the first application I have already installed it. I have a detailed version on how to get started with PageFly. So do check that out if you don't know the basics of setting up PageFly and whatnot. But then all you have to do is install it. And once you install it, you have to create your account via your email. It's a pretty standardized process. Now, once you've done that, you will get into the PageFly dashboard. Now, on the free version of PageFly, so if you go on to the free version of PageFly, you can only publish one page, but if you pay as you go, starting at $24 a month, you can create 10 pages, which is usually more than enough for most people. But we're just going to be creating our product page, which is, you can uh, approach this in two ways. You can create like a page for your product collections or create, you know, a direct product page. So I'm going to first delete our pre-existing page and we're going to create a new one. So now once I have, you know, removed all the pages, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be on the same step. You're going to just be on your dashboard. You're going to click on pages from over here and just click on product pages. Once you click on product pages, now why do you need to click on product pages and not just pages is because you want to link your product over here. So then you're going to click on create from a template on the right side of your screen. Once you click on create from a template, this will show you all of the product page templates that you have. They have templates ranging from all different types of categories and um, niches. So they have this jewelry template, this uh, protein powder template, this homemade product, this skin product, there's food items, pumpkin pie, skincare items. Now. You guys can see some of these, uh, these are like product pages, but if you want to you know one of those pages where it lists all of your products, you're going to go into collections pages because those are the ones that display all of your entire collections, but we're going to be focusing on one product page. Now on my e-commerce store, I just have this product over here. So I'm going to be looking for a template that is suitable for this kind of LED projector light bulb. And I'm just going to go into the product pages over here. So there are quite a few, like so. I think this one looks pretty nice, but I'm just going to, you know, browse all of them a little. I think I am going to go with uh, this one. This one looks pretty nice, and I'm just going to maybe this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to click on preview, and once you click on preview, you're just going to click on select this template. Now, once you select the template, it will show you guys the template. Now, over here, this is like a drag and drop kind of editor. Uh, you have your source items. When you have to add items, you're going to add them from the left side. You can add elements. And then to customize that content, you're going to click on the right side. So you guys can see this is product details and you have to select a uh, product for your to display on your product page. So from here, we're going to click on add element. And you can click on add Shopify element and then you want to uh, go on ahead and add your specific element. Now uh, you can just search for it and you can, you know, add and drag and drop that product detail. But once you've dragged and dropped this specific like uh, cluster, you're going to click on it and you can click on select product from the right side of your screen. So it's going to be a custom product and I'm just going to click on select product. I only have one 
I'm just going to add that and this will now be added. You can add variants as well. I don't have any variants and I'm just going to take this section and you can, you know, delete it as well because there's no comparable price that I've added. But after that, I have, you know, wireless headphones. I'm going to change this text and I'm going to add nightlight projector. Now, after that, you can choose certain elements that should not be visible on, you know, maybe phone. So maybe you don't want variant options available directly on mobile versions because it can confuse your customers or not fit in the mobile devices. But I like to keep it as it is. Now, I want to change the background uh, theme color simply because it doesn't match with my styling. So for that, you can just click on styling on the top right. Once you click on styling, you have overall content. So you have like uh, the uh, color options and you can select whatever color you want. I'm going to go with like a deeper purple. Then you have spacing and typography. You can edit the text of the entire section via the styling method. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to change the text. I'm just going to be changing the background. There is this background image and I'm going to clear it out. And then I can click on select image. And I can add my own image. I can upload it from my computer. But instead, I'm just going to give it like a deep purple background like this. And then once I have added that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at our display settings. Everything is fine. Opacity is fine. But I think I'm going to go ahead in my typography. And then I'm going to scroll down. I have more settings. And I have these accent colors for the text, which I want to change. So I can click on global styling over here. And I have my font family. So in my font family, I can just click on colors and I can customize the colors however I want. I'm going to open this up and make it like a nice little, maybe I want them all to be white. So I can just apply white like this, click on publish. And I will just publish that. And it will apply it to the relevant uh, items. Now, just below that, I have my second section. And now I can delete, you know, the elements from here. Uh, I'm going to delete the entire section. But now I can add my product features. So you can just click and edit. That is very simple and intuitive. If you want to add anything else about your product, you can just click on add element on the left side of your screen and just drag and drop the specific item. Let's say you have a TikTok or Instagram video that displays your usability of your item. So what you want to do to insert that is click on add element and then you can click on Instagram feed, Facebook like and share, Facebook feed, Twitter feed, whatever you might want to add. Or you can just add your HTML and liquid and copy the HTML link of the video or TikTok and paste it over here. Once you've completed your setting, you know, the styling of your product page, you're going to click on save on the top right and you're going to name it and you're going to save this page. Once you've saved it, you're going to go back into PageFly. So... Once it has been saved, just go into PageFly. Now I'm going to go into PageFly and I'm going to go into my pages. And I'm just going to click on these three dots on the right side. Click on Publish. And just like that, our page has been published. And this is what our page is currently looking like. So it's a nice and good product page. You can obviously customize the content further and add your own links as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. But before you end this video, make sure you add the relevant page into your product menu. So you want to go into your online stores, click on navigation. And in your main navigation panel, you want to click on main menu, add menu item and copy and paste a product link into that. So it shows up in your actual menu. Otherwise, your page won't be in the menu section of your Shopify store. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.